In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a full lead funnel using only Zoho Marketing Automation. We'll go ahead and cover the landing page, creating the sign up form, and creating a nurturing drip. Before we get started though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's jump in. The thing we're going to want to do is set up the landing page. This is where visitors are going to first interact with your promo. So for this example, let's say here at Zenata, we're running a new promo on our team training program. And let's say we don't have Zoho One, we just have Zoho Marketing Automation and we want to create a landing page to promote our new course coming out. In order to do that, we can go ahead and go to lead generation and then landing pages. Within the landing page too, we'll also set up the signup form at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and create a new landing page. And let's just call this marketing team training promo. And let's go ahead and choose our template. So they have a lot of templates since this is an online course. Let's look at their online course selection. And, you know, something like this would probably go well. So let's choose this one. And if you haven't, we have a whole video on Zoho sites. Uh, landing pages is much is very similar. It's built on the same platform as Zoho sites. So we can go ahead and come in here. We can change some elements. Maybe we want to change the background to solid color and, you know, we can make it like a dark blue or we can go with maybe like a green. You can also drop in your hex code. Since this is our product, we probably want to go ahead and choose some of our branding. And from here we have our form, but we're going to want to go ahead and change this a little bit. So let's go ahead and edit the form or we can always go ahead to, let's say you just wanted to create a new one. You're building this from scratch. You can go ahead and go up here and inserts and then elements. You can go ahead and oops, sorry, form. You can drop in a, a native form. You can also, if you have Zoho one, you have the Zoho forms integration. You can always go ahead and create a Zoho form too. A lot more flexibility and options with Zoho Forms. However, if we're stuck with just marketing automation, we are going to use the native form. So since this tutorial is just focusing on marketing automation, let's go ahead and use the native form, which is essentially what this is here. So we can go to Forms and then the settings icon here, we can go ahead and edit the form. Okay, and once that loads, we can go ahead and see here, it takes us into our form builder. So. For the most part, we have pretty much everything we need, except I think it would be nice to capture their first and last name. So let's go ahead and move these up. And that should be all we need. And let's go ahead and make email mandatory. So now when they go ahead and come to this landing page, you know, as you can see, like Zoho Forms, we could go ahead and set the first and last name side by side. But for now, this is good enough. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and change the image here. And we can go ahead and edit all of this content on this landing page to match, you know, however we see fit. Maybe we don't need this extra section here so we can delete it. You know, I'm a big fan of less is more on these landing pages. You know, maybe you'd even want to adjust this a little bit so everything catches the eye above the fold. And above the fold is essentially everything right when you land on the landing page. This section is above the fold and this would be considered below the fold. So I always think it's a good practice to have your call to action above the fold because that's what you really want people to be seeing and converting on. So now that we have this all set up, let's go ahead and hit next. And we can go ahead and see, we can also set a response action so we can configure response action. So in this case, when the form is submitted, we're going to want to either assign a tag or add to a journey or add to a list. In most cases, I always like to add them to a list because if we add them to a journey and later we decide we want to switch the journey, we can always go ahead and just change this to a list. And then the journey, them entering the journey is based on a list instead of the journey. So let's go ahead and add them to a list. And for this demo, let's go ahead and call it marketing team training promo. I'm going to fix that. And we'll go ahead and save this. And now we have our marketing team training promo and let's go ahead and save it. So we've went ahead and knocked out two things right now. So we've created the landing page, but we've also created the form. So when they fill out the form, we will capture in contacts here, they'll be added to the marketing automation database. And then from there, we will have their first, last and email. 
So now we're ready to go ahead and create a drip to go ahead and nurture these contacts that are coming in from this marketing team training promo that we're running. Let's go ahead and create our journey. What we'll do is over here on the left under journeys, we will go ahead and create a journey. The purpose of this is now that they filled out the form, we want to automate the process of sending a follow-up email, sending more promotional material, getting them to convert ideally, and giving them some more information about our services or products to get them to convert and purchase our services and products. In this case, we have our marketing team training promo. And for this drip, we can go ahead and choose a template. Zoho is a, a handful to go ahead and get you started. We're just going to do a basic one from scratch. And this could be two, three, four emails. The general process is going to be, you're gonna choose your trigger. In this case, when they were added to that list, which was marketing team training, we can go ahead and save. You can also, let's say you've been running this form for a while and you just want people that are now entering, you can also choose, you know, allow entry of contacts that are entering this list from this moment forward or everyone. In this case, we'll just choose everyone. Next, we'll go ahead and choose our action. And generally what this is going to look like is you're going to have your email. We're gonna put a little time delay between the emails. And then we're gonna probably send one or two more emails. In this case, we'll just do one more. And then I usually like to add them to a list after they finish the, the process. Let's say we wanna go ahead and create another journey later on, but we wanna keep the analytics from this one so we don't wanna edit it. So what we can do is if we add them to a list when they finish the journey, we can go ahead and set that as an exit criteria. So we can go ahead and add them to the list, marketing team training promo, promo completed. We can save that from there. We can go ahead and choose an exit criteria. And we can say if they have completed this, this one is a bad example. Let's say it's a new one, but we could go ahead and choose this as an exit criteria. And then when we go ahead and choose this list in the future, we can go ahead and exclude everyone that's already received similar content. So let's go ahead and create our first email campaign. So in this case, I think a good first email campaign would be, let's say creating, maybe sending some promo videos. So we can say uh, marketing team training promo videos or say sample videos because this is the promo. Hit next. We'll choose a simple email. If you wanna go ahead and use the drag and drop builder uh, for your content, that's going to be uh, under layouts here and you can choose blank template or for the, for the temp template gallery. However, I personally like to use a plain text editor or HTML. I think the first emails when they're filling out the form should actually look like a standard email and not some promotional content. If you feel like the promotional content for what you're doing is better, feel free to use the builder. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use the HTML builder. And I've went ahead and created some copy to save time. If you need merge tags, you can always choose the merge tags here, like first and last name for your email. Let's go ahead and drop in my builder. So we have the Zenata team training. And from here, we can go ahead and drop a video in and you know click on the full course. And maybe I have a landing page with more sample videos once they've converted and filled out the form. Let's go ahead and save and proceed. And then from here, we can add a subject line, probably the same as this. So we'll just copy this for right now and we'll drop this in. And then we can go ahead and add the sender details as well, who is coming from and the email address and reply to email address. So let's go ahead and save and exit. So now we have our first video. Okay, so we've gotten the sample videos. Maybe we wanna be pretty aggressive on after the sample videos, you know, maybe we'll, we will wait like one week. And once they go ahead and they've waited a week and maybe we have one more exit criteria, like we have a field in here uh, that's custom that says they've purchased the team training and that's an exit criteria. And then from there, they're not going to get the follow-up email. So the follow-up email would be something like, hey, here's a limited time discount. 
And we can go ahead and also create another email, proceed. And, you know, don't miss this limited time offer. So I need to give them a little FOMO and then we'll go ahead and add our content here. And again, I've went ahead and created some content ahead of time. So we'll go back to the HTML editor and we will go ahead and copy in code. And then we went ahead and created a 20% limited time offer that's valid for the remainder of the month. We can use custom fields though to really change this around and kind of make it more personalized. This is just a sample uh, video. So just to give you a general idea. So now we have our two emails. We have the promo content and the limited time offer. Now they went ahead and created this or finished this journey. And then from there, removed from this journey. But you can get really creative. Maybe we want to re-enter them into this journey after 60 days or send them more videos. Maybe this drip goes on for a month until they convert. And just keep in mind too, your exit criteria doesn't have to be the list. Maybe you have fields inside the CRM or the contact record inside of here as your you know, your salespeople are reaching out to these contacts. Maybe they're converting. Maybe it's going into a different drip depending on how they interact, how many links they click on. So you, we can make them hotter or warmer depending on how they're interacting. Marketing automation has a lot of features like that to really kind of give you the tools you need to utilize this lead funnel to convert your leads. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If there's any additional information you'd like to see in future videos or around this video, around questions you might have on this process, feel free to drop them in the comments below. As always, I hope you found this video useful and please hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.